हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विधान वेलकम यू टू माय चैनल दिस इज क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन पार्ट सी बुकलेट कोड सी क्वेश्चन नंबर इज फिफ्टी थ्री इट्स अ मैकेनिकल सिस्टम लेट एस ए पार्टिकल हेयर इज डिस्क्राइब बाय द हेमिल्टोनियन एच इज इक्वेस्ट टू दिस एच इज द फंक्शन ऑफ क्यू एंड पी हेयर क्यू इज कॉल्ड जेनरलाइज कोर्डिनेट पी इज कॉल्ड जेनरलाइज मोमेंटम पी इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड कंजुगेट मोमेंटम क्यू एंड पी टूगेदर कॉल्ड कैनिकल कंजुगेट पेयर क्यू एंड पी आर इन स्मॉल लेटर्स दिस इज टू बी नोटिस्ड सो अल्टीमेटली वी हैव बिन गिवन द हेमिल्टोनियन एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ द कैनिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इट मीन्स टू से दैट अ कैनिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज हैपनिंग हेयर यूजिंग दिस फंक्शन कॉल्ड द जेनरेटिंग फंक्शन then what is the new hamiltonian all the new hamiltonian is not written here but i am saying it because the hamiltonian which is a function of new coordinate capital q and new momentum capital p is obviously a new hamiltonian so let us try to solve this problem so at first hand we have been given a hamiltonian which is a function of small q small p is p square by 2 m plus half m omega square q is square then it says a canonical transformation is being done so canonical transformation is when the old coordinate transforms into a new coordinate and the old momentum transforms into a new momentum for notation its capital q its capital p then they are called canonical transformations why the name canonical because q and p are called canonical phase space variables and their transformations are called canonical transformations one thing to be noticed that this is a function of small q and this is a function of small p because the new coordinate or the transformed coordinate is not possible without the old coordinate so it's a function of old coordinate and it's a function of old momentum so we can finally say we can conclude from here that if i write the hamiltonian in terms of capital q and capital p then this is not the same as the old hamiltonian fine so we write that this has transformed into this using canonical transformations and canonical transformation has been done using the generating function now this is the concept of canonical transformation but this is not the full detail that is why i have made another video on this topic uh, that you can find by the name canonical transformation and you could refer to it for further detail now let us see about generating function for that first of all we will see some of the generating functions and their respective derivatives generating function derivatives so what are the possible generating functions generating function could be a function of small q and capital q this function can be differentiated with respect to small q and capital q so we have two formula two formulas and capital p is equals to minus of del f by del capital q it is obvious that this function can be differentiated with respect to small q and this function can be differentiated with respect to capital q so these are the formula you have to remember now a generating function can also be a function of small q and capital p and therefrom we have to formulate p is equals to del f by del q and capital q is equals to del f here it's plus it's not minus by del capital p 
again we could have a generating function which is a function of small p capital Q and here we could have Q is minus del f by del small p and capital P is equals to minus del f by del capital Q and again fourth type of generating function that is possible is a function of small p and capital P then again we have two formula that small q is minus del f by del small p and capital Q is del f by del capital P you see the pattern here that whenever it is differentiated with small q it gives a small p with respect to small p it gives a small q when function is difference with respect to capital q it gives capital p when difference with respect to capital p it gives capital q so this is the pattern that you have to remember and that capital p is always minus and small q is always minus this is you have to remember now in some textbooks you would also find that this could be written as f1 so this should be written f1 f1 2 so this can be written as f2 otherwise not important in a certain problem f3 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 and it is generally written as f4 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 now what is the use of generative function and this formulas this formulas this formulae can give us the interrelation between the old coordinates and momentums with the new coordinates and new momentums thus we could have the new hamiltonian by substituting those values into the old hamiltonian so in our problem the generating function is the function of small q capital q and this is the function so we will see that this matches with this it's a function of generative function small q of small q and capital q and we will be using these two functions and find out the relations between the old coordinates and momenta with the new coordinates and momenta and substitute it in the old hamiltonian so let us see it okay one more thing that this f1 f2 f3 f4 all these actually f2 can be found out from f1 using legendary transformation f3 can be found from f1 using legendary transformation and f4 can be found using uh, legendary transformation from f1 so legendary transformation is something that you have to see from some textbooks okay we go further trying to solve this problem so now we have the situation in our problem it has been given that our problem has the function generating function that is the function of small q and capital Q and it's minus capital Q by small q so we will be using two formula that uh, small p is del f by del q and capital P is minus del f by del capital Q now it is as the first so from here we get small p is del of del small q and the function is capital Q by small q now minus of capital Q is constant here and derivative of q q to the power minus 1 so it gives us minus 1 into q to the power minus 2 minus minus plus capital Q by q square so it gives us uh, small p is equals to capital Q by capital Q by small q square this is not satisfactory why you will understand from here we have capital P is equals to minus of del by del capital Q and the function is capital Q by small q then we have capital P is equals to minus minus plus and 1 by small q is constant so del q by del q and this gives us 
capital Q is equal to 1 by small q so small q is equal to 1 by capital Q here we have a good relation so we have found the old coordinate in terms of the transformed coordinate but here the old coordinate is not in terms of transformed coordinate he, this capital Q is transformed but small q is not transformed so we have to find P using this Q so we will have this P is equals to capital Q by this small p and Q squared is 1 by capital P whole square and this will give us small p is equals to capital Q into capital P whole square so we have got it so we have got the old coordinate in terms of the new coordinate and uh, the old coordinates it is not dot and the old coordinates in terms of new coordinates okay now we write the old Hamiltonian that is uh, Q and small p small q is equals to p square by 2m small p square by 2m plus half m omega square small q square then the new hamiltonian which is a functional capital q and capital p is uh, obviously small p square that means capital q p whole square and whole square capital q p square to the power 2 by 2m plus half m omega square and q square is 1 by capital p whole square so this gives us capital q square capital p to the power 4 by 2m this is capital p plus half m omega square capital P to the power minus 2 okay so we have the edge dash or the new Hamiltonian is here 4 4 matches option 4 so answer is 4 so we found out the correlation between the old and the new coordinates and substituted those put those in the old Hamiltonian to get the new Hamiltonian and 4 is the answer thank you